everyone, it's Nick here from No Tarot. Today I'm going to show you how to create an invoice and add a Telus e claim to that invoice and submit it through No Tarot. The very first thing you need to do is set up your insurance section. And so all we're going to do is click on the settings, our gear icon, and then click on insurance. And in the insurance section, you can see I have two insurers. So you would need to add all the insurers that you deal with by just clicking add new. Select your insurers and just toggle on the insurers you deal with and click connect insurers. So I already have two set up in this test clinic. Insurance codes. You don't need to put any insurance codes when you're making TELUS e-claims. Um, they are already saved within the system. The next section is the form fields. And so you can just click quick select and select the TELUS e-claims and it's going to properly select the fields that you need to add a policy to a patient or client profile. So these are these fields are for insurance policies. And then next you need to connect uh, your TELUS uh, account with Notero. And so I already have a connection uh, already started. Um, if I needed to add a new one, I can click add new. There's two types of connections or two types of accounts. There's an organization which has an associate providers underneath them or an independent. So just make sure you select the correct one when you're uh, setting this up. So let's go ahead and take a look at this connection. And so this connection has a number of things that are important. Uh, again, some of the values that you have to be aware of when you are logged into your portal. So you're going to need to be logged into your portal to grab these values like the CPR ID and the TELUS uh, ID location. And I'll just show you when you are setting it up what it looks like. So you put a connection name. This is for internal use. The name of the clinic, the CPR ID, again, these values when you log into your uh, TELUS um, through the TELUS portal, your account. And again, you're going to grab the location ID and these numbers are generally not the same. So if you are putting the same value in, you'll know you've made a mistake. Um, okay. So just make sure you are putting the right values because they have to be exact. So, um, I'll just click save that and we'll go back and open up that big, the larger slide out. So once this connection is set up, these are the individuals within your account and you have to connect them. And so in this case, the admin, so the admin would be your login credentials. So I'll take a look at, we'll take a look at that. So again, that's your first and last name, who you're logging in as your username. Again, this is the credentials that you log in to the portal with in your password. Um, the other credentials, if we come down here, so these are the practitioners. So these would be listed under you. So for example, if I wanted to connect this practitioner, I'd click connect, put their first name, their last name, their CPR ID that's listed in your account. Cause this is an organization and you would add the role and you'd select the role from the drop down list here. You'd select who the, who's issuing the license, their license number, and then you're going to click save. So that's all you need to do to set up your TELUS account. And once you've, you've done that, um, you're ready to start uh, by submitting claims. So let's go back to the calendar. And I already have an appointment here. So Bruce Wayne comes in for his appointment. I'm going to mark him as arrived and I'm going to create that invoice. So I have invoice 109. And it's for a pretty pricey treatment of $600. And so we're going to add insurance here. So we're going to click add insurance. And we're going to put a billing code in. And as I said before, the billing codes are saved within the system. So as long as you know what the billing codes are for your profession. And so I'm just going to grab the exercise billing code here. And so the original value was for $600. Um, you can change or override that value. And I'm going to put that down to $100. And I mean, if there's any insurance or, I mean, sorry, are there any tax on this? These are units and this is the uh, minutes. And so now I have uh, a billing code and I have my invoice being evaluated. The next step is I need to, um, what I need to do is I need to uh, create a claim. And so you have a few options. Um, you can copy. So this allows you to copy previous claims uh, that you have already submitted, but I've already put a billing code on there. So I'm not going to use this one, or you can do an act of policy. 
and or create a new policy. So for example, if I click active policy, I can determine one of these policies here um, for work. I put the claim number or um, I can do a new policy. So if I wanted to, um, I will do a new policy. I think I want to make sure and then the policy name and this could just be a work policy for example I'll put some values in here the IDs again I'm just these are just fictitious and the next is really important who is going to be paid to so you're submitting a claim and uh, against a policy and typically are you going to get paid or is the patient going to get paid so if I change this to clinic so the clinic is going to receive the money for the claim and so I'm going to add that and I've successfully added that. And so you can see uh, the insurer balance is $113. So I have these two buttons in here. I have a preview and an e-claims e e badge. So I know that I've set everything up successfully. And so if I click preview, I can see that there are no errors. So we're gonna identify any errors on this page and you'll need to correct them before you submit them. Um, you can see um, we do sum up um, everything that I put in against the policy and who it's payable to. So let's just close this for a minute. We're going to come back to the uh, preview and how to submit a claim. So here again, I, it's payable to. If I made a mistake, I can edit that claim just by clicking edit and I can change that payable to. Um, and then as well, I mean, I can make some edits to the, the claim here or view or edit um, in the dropdown. So I have that same edit in that dropdown. This add EOB, um, if you're submitting a claim through TALUS, you don't have to worry about that. We're going to populate that for you, and you're going to see that in a minute. So let's go back to the preview. And it doesn't appear there's any error me messages on here. The provincial coverage, I'll just leave that at no. I agree to the terms and conditions. You need to toggle that on. And you can check eligibility or submit claim. Not all insurers support the eligibility check, but if they do, you'll be able to uh, click this button. So let's go ahead and submit the claim. And we'll wait for the response from TELUS. And we got an approved status here. Submit at 113. The insurer portion is 101. They're eligible for 101. And so um, this is the EOB or the explanation of benefits that we receive back. You can download this if you want. So I'm just going to go back here. And if I click on my EOB now, you'll see that, that eligible amount 101, the insurer portion. So it was eligible. The insurer portion is paying this much. And there's a balance owing. And so you can see in this case here, um, there is $11.30 uh, that is going to be left to the uh, patient to pay or you can mark this as adjust and so adjust will basically um, adjust the invoice up here and it will remove this remaining amount um, from the invoice okay so the patient pays in this in this case is eleven dollars and thirty cents because we're leaving this amount this eleven thirty on here and so we don't have to worry about uh, save i mean we don't have to worry about the statuses because it's already marked as approved so we just leave that as a saved EOB, okay? So there's that patient balance of 1130 that we're talking about, okay? And so that's all you need to do. Um, everything will be done in real time and the invoice will be properly evaluated, okay? So um, we know in this case, the patient owes 1130. And so we'll let's go through the workflow of the patient pain, for example. So let's click on pay and we know that the patient owes 1130. So we're going to change this to $11 and 30 cents. And we will add a payment method and we'll just say that they paid cash and we'll mark this invoice as paid. You also have the ability to pay in print, pay in email or pay in PDF as well. Show up coming appointments. We'll just mark this off as paid. So if we go back to that invoice, Uh, you'll notice that now the patient pay patient uh, patient patient portion is now at zero and the insurer balance is at 101. so the insurer balance has to be paid through a different workflow through the insurer pay workflow you can click on this and it's going to take you to the billing section so we're just going to go to the billing section so we need 10170 from you know this insurer so we know that the, we're expecting from canada life 101 dollars and 70 cents 
So when the money comes in, we're going to go to the insurance section or our billing section. And in this case, you can see how it's being evaluated. So this is the invoice we're dealing with, invoice 109. 1130 was the responsibility of the patient, which we paid off, and the insurer still owes us money. Um, before we go through the insurer payments, I'll just show you these other few sections. And so we have some information about the insurers. And so you can edit the insurer in this case here, or you can click the edit here. Uh, see any payments made through um, this insurer has or any policies as well as the insurer's policies as well so we can see all the policies all the active policies and all the claims against those policies and then the claims themselves and so if they're in draft form submitted form or approved form in this case this is a, an approved one so you'll see that 10170 is right here it's improved status so what we need to do is the payment has come in now so we'll click on the insure payments. We'll receive a payment of 10170. So Canada Life sent us as an insurance payment of 10170. And you have two options. You can issue to claims or you can add to credit. Add to credit just means that you're gonna that you're gonna put money uh, um, in the insurer section uh, in this case uh, Canada Life will have 101 that has not been issued to claims and at a later date you can issue it to claims we're going to issue this to the claims and you can see that this is an insurer payment of 10170 and you can see that you have a few options you can filter you can search by patient or policy group or plan number so there's a search if you want to search all the policies or you can search by status in this case it's filtered by status I'm sorry not search it's filtered by status so uh, it's it's defaulted to submitted and approved but you can also um, also um, you can also display the draft or the paid um, uh, claims as well so we're gonna select this one right here and we're gonna pay off the 10170 And it's going to be applied uh, to this billing code that we have and then you know the payment amount was 10170 that we saw at the top here there was no uh, amount that was previously issued from this payment there was available it was 10170 and we're issuing 10170 to this claim and we just click issue to claim and so when we click on invoice 109 and we come back to this invoice you'll see so this is the invoice that we were pulled up from the calendar and you'll see that the invoice has now been fully paid okay so there's the um, the insurer transaction right here and this is the uh, patient transaction right here that was cash and there's one other section I do want to show you and that's the report section and the receivable have also been updated and so you can see that the receivables now break down into uh, all insurers and patients and so you can separate the two out uh, for receivables so if there's an outstanding amount on the insurer side you can see there's no outstanding amount or on the patient side as well so if there's any receivables on the patient side you can then filter separate the two or you can group them together okay and that will show you your receivables so that's how you would pay or submit, I'm oh sorry, that's how you'd submit a claim through TELUS and how you would pay that balance off. And again, just keep in mind that there's two workflows, the patient pay and the uh, insurer pays. And just make sure that the insurer pays is going against the claim and the patient pays is going against the patient pays. So whatever those values are in that invoice. Okay, so thanks for watching and please click sub subscribe if you'd like to be notified as new videos are released.